In this video I'm going to finish and install the differential into the transmission case and close everything. If you've been following this uh, bunch of videos, you know that uh, I've been suffering to assemble all this transmission stuff uh, and I managed on the last video I managed to put it together and is the current state so now I need to get this differential and put this differential in there um, I had a subscriber that asked me to uh, show him how, how it's cold here how to install uh, this yellow ring in here uh, I am so sorry. I tried to remove this from here and I thought I was going to break but I read the instructions, I read the manual and uh, you need to press it, put it on top and press it. Uh, you know, if it was me, I was going to get... Oh, my tool is not here. I will, I will get a, a rubber hammer or a mallet, right? That's what a rubber hammer is. A uh, piece of pipe that has like a flat bottom. There are some I've seen on uh, Home Depot. And you know, put on top of this here and the hammer it's like lightly. And I'm pretty sure this would go down and click. Uh, I didn't want to uh, risk to break because I had enough with this transmission. I don't want to get stuck with this car like this because I want to enjoy this. Um, and because of the transmission. The engine was my challenge, never done one, had no idea what the hell was a connecting rod or anything, uh, especially the names in English. I mean, I would know in Portuguese because I'm from Brazil, but not in English, but never done an engine, didn't know anything and gaps and anything. And now I'm stuck with this freaking transmission because I want to open this to clean. And not enough. I realized, well, someone told me uh, when I was spraying the crap out of that housing where the the one you put the clutch that clutch is made out of asbestos what so I, I really don't want to do anything else with this transmission uh, I'm definitely done with this so I'm gonna close it put the differential I know that everything looks good and you know what if it explodes I'm going to the uh, Pull apart, part and save, save and do whatever, whatever the name you call it, and buy a new one. And honestly, if I, I enjoy doing the engine and everything else in the car, but if I need to open the transmission again, um, yeah, that won't be me. So I hope this is a good angle for you. Uh, so on last video, on the last video we install, uh, the seals in here uh, and of course the seals are going to get sealed when you put the uh, the axles in here uh, there's a little piece of rubber in the axles actually oh, you can see here better and this piece of rubber here and the axles actually um, go in tight and don't let the oil out so uh, that said we don't need to worry so in here we have the differential which is heavy -ish, not freaking heavy um, and we are going to just put down here I'm gonna remove this one right on and it is too heavy so I'm gonna there you go put a piece of wood I love my hardwood floor. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, it is there. Um, it's everything's kind of free of dust, free of dirt, free of everything. Um, yeah, everything is moving freely. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'm not sure what's the best setup for me to put that cover on. Uh, the cover is not too heavy. The bolts are here, they're all clean. So I'm going around 
except for those two here I'm going around and the bolts are all the same and those two on the back uh, they are kind of weird because probably they have some wiring getting getting tight in there so let's do it so it is here I did not clean as much as I wanted and but inside is pretty clean so what I'm going to do now is we're going to flip it over put this side in here fit the axle in there and um, here and now see those plugs there those uh I don't know how to call that thing so they need to guide they need to get into their own guide um, so I'm gonna try to wiggle a little bit if it doesn't work I will need to get a screwdriver and get the screwdriver and poke in there all right so they're there I gotta wiggle a little bit I see one of them is about to get in place and the other ones not quite so I'm gonna get that screwdriver move that he doesn't go all the way nice I mean, it's not, not using any, any strength and just uh, working its way down. All right. So, let's go back to our situation here. Uh, there's no much we need to do here. We just need to align those things here. So I put the gear in a way that they have all the same height uh, it's like around the same height and I need to put a bit of um, ultra gray here uh, it could be something else but this has oil and temperature so I think ultra gray will do great There's something I've just learned this this bearing here uh, so there's one side there's a thick plastic part and the other side is a thin plastic part so the thin plastic part goes on the bottom the thick part the thick plastic start, uh, part goes on the top so let's see how this is going to fit now problem is Dude, my, my ultra gray is like, some of them got um, compromised. Well, apparently just this side here. Uh, all right, let's do it again. Just a little part. There you go. I think I have way too much, but uh, I was trying to put in there and it wasn't going in. And I'm sure it's related to that little thing in there. and I guess you just start wiggling it gets in there yep that was exactly it so now the other two are so this side is great there are two 
guides. Um, those guides gotta be in place. Uh, I'm sure I should have not done that. All right, so you just move this a little bit, the gears, so you can uh, move left and right and up. So the little, let's call it pivot. I don't know how this is called, but. So they move, oh yeah, baby. And uh, there's a chance that this little bearing in the middle uh, is not in place because it's almost everything fits properly, but we still, not quite right. Yeah, look at that. It's like a little sandwich. Uh, I don't know if you can see I'm actually uh, putting these screws and now I was using the uh, because it wasn't in all the way I was using this here and then I was going to remove them and torque okay just a little explanation. I am, I tied everything so I could uh, put it together without hammering so I could just squeeze it, right? So I squeeze all the sides. Uh, I'm just hoping um, that um, the part that was in the middle is actually correct, which was that bearing that was showing last. And uh, yeah, everything else looks great. Uh, so I'm going to remove the screws, uh, put this on the ground, and I'm going to start torquing it. So 14 is done, and now we're gonna torque at 21 foot pound. Okay, so the next thing is we are going to get the speedometer uh, and we're gonna put it in place so I'm going to clean this a little bit in here Hang on. and so that one is clean I wish I could clean this so much better but I'm over it over 
and I'm going to uh, get this seal and I'll put some WD-40 I could replace the seal but this is an easy easy to reach situation here so um, yeah there you go so I'm going to get one little drop of Loctite I'm not going to even put on the bottom I'm gonna put like here halfway in the treads and I'm going to screw it down there uh, I believe that's a 10 millimeter so this here touch that yellow ring that we saw on the uh, differential and tells how fast your car is going there you go don't need to tie the crap out of it great um, the other thing is the plug so there are two plugs one is a drain uh, which I just removed to clean and this one is uh, the one you remove to fill up there you go get some uh, WD-40 to protect the rubber all right and this goes in here boom so when you want to fill up you got to fill up through here it's stupid but when it start leaking then it's time to stop so weird so now we are going to put the engine mount the uh, transmission mount and those bolts here uh, they are they will be there on a 40 foot pound so this here I don't want them to move I don't want this um, to move at all so what I'm going to do is put some Loctite by the way this Loctite is the medium strength it's not the uh, the Dracula killer seem to be different boats, that's weird. By the way, the way I'm doing this, I'm just getting in here, putting a dab like, or like a ring in the middle. Sorry, my compressor. Still not a very um, noisy compressor. It's like 15, I'm gonna talk at 45 to be honest. Oh, that's larger. Uh, this is a 14 millimeter. The other one was 12, 13. So I was using 13 millimeter. Sorry, I forgot even to say that. Now we have the mount, the engine mount, uh, and I guess the last thing is this little piece of rubber that keeps uh, stuff inside the transmission. Uh, we don't need to screw or anything. And see this hole back in here, we just put it in there. 
just like that and uh, when we put the fork inside the fork is going to come out right here all right so you see the master cylinder has it's like a shape and this side here is painted this side here is not painted so you know that it goes like this so what we do is we put this in here and I believe we start the screw from the top because these holes here are threaded there you go one down the other one All right, so there you go. And the transmission seemed to be working, so look. And then you move here, then you have different gears. It's hard with one hand, but, but anyway. Uh, I don't feel very well leaving this like that but I don't want to touch asbestos anyway so screw it and now I mean this is unfortunately is not a, a how-to or it's just like what the parts are and uh, how you close but not how you close because I don't want you to hammer the thing um, I wasn't quite sure why it wasn't going down until I flipped a little uh, that little uh, bearing and you know I'm so frustrated with this transmission situation that I don't really care and I really don't want you to open your transmission thinking that it is hard but you can do it I mean it's it's up to you I I'm very brave but I won't open a transmission ever again I don't think I have the tools necessary and I don't want to buy all those tools I don't want to it's very specific it does not fulfill me it doesn't give me that sense of oh man I did it that's a wing no it does it doesn't give me any of that so this year never again feel free to ask any questions you want I have a PDF uh, that has everything related to this NV3 NV-T350 uh, I'll be glad to send out to whoever needs it but I have stuff in my mouth but the important thing for now is uh, I finished this thing uh, I guess next step so I won't be able to paint the car for the next it's like couple months so I am not sure I think I'm gonna drop the engine in here because I can't wait. Um, I'm gonna drop the engine here. There's a lot of work to do. Uh, I still need to paint the calipers, but I mean the calipers is fine. I can do that in here with this small heater, but um, yeah, I don't have the structure to uh, paint this engine bay. To clean this in here is super cold. Uh, now it's getting warm, it's 32 but this is bad news you know um there's a bunch of stuff i need to do on my drift car i can't do anything because i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you the car is buried in the snow and it's now now it's not even opening so check that out look at that trash can the trash can 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 go in our backyard anymore look at this thing there's snow all over that car I can barely move it doesn't move it doesn't get out I can drive it so this winter is killing me um, I need to figure it out a way to uh, to do stuff in the car because I want to make videos I want to produce good make good content but it's kind of impossible because I can't do anything it's like I need to paint my helmet for drifting, you can't do that. You know, there's some 
parts I can paint it's fine but I mean if it's a small it's all right but I can't paint inside the garage anyway bear with me uh, there's a lot of stuff happening I have so many parts coming um, I got harness bar for the drift car I got a bunch of other stuff and shut up Marcos you keep talking 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 I'm sorry that I haven't been posting as many videos as um, you want because I'm stuck on this year but the next one I promise will be we're going to remove all of this from this harness and we're going to redo this harness I'm not going to rewire but I'm going to uh, remove all the cover and make a new one make it nice and maybe make it chrome I got some chrome tape uh, just to make a little nicer and uh, I'll make as nice as I can drop the engine and you know in the future if I can uh, take the engine out and uh, I have time to paint time and I mean I have a good weather and time to take the engine and all that stuff and I didn't get another project we're gonna do it and otherwise that's it just uh, transmission and a quick update why hasn't been happening so much stuff thank you guys uh, I hope you like this video I hope this is very informative for you and shut up Marcos and I'll see you on the next video oh still there don't forget to subscribe like share and comment all right later